Do you miss the days of like a good afternoon grand final, uh, middle of the day, and then you can enjoy the evening and still still be tucked up in bed at a reasonable hour? Yep. Oh, I think it's like knocking on in the NRL and then giving away a penalty the next set. They've moved it from like daytime on a Saturday and then to a Sunday. Now it's nighttime. I just think it's like a compound error. I just think the biggest thing is, and talking about the AFL last week, like we had Group One racing. There's a lot of things on. You had NRL semifinals at night, so you had a lot to get you through the day. Where you look at this Sunday coming up. I know we've got the NRLW Grand Final and the Interstate yep. Challenge before, but outside of that, there's nothing. There's country racing, maybe. So it's a long day till we get to the Grand Final. Whereas if it's a Saturday, even if it's night on a Saturday, you've got the races to get you through. Um, even if, I think if you did it on the same day as the AFL Grand Final, then you could go back to back. I just think it's too late. And by the time you get there, you're sort of fatigued and ready yeah. for bed. So oh, I think it's... Like, you think it's state of origin? I think it's state of origin. Everyone thinks Wednesday night. You punch out work. That gets through. You get home from work. You get excited, yeah. ready for the build-up. I wake up Sunday and I'm like, go for brekkie. Like, what do you, what do, you do? Just yeah, hang around you, all day. You keep 12, around. 13 hours to kill. Exactly. Yeah. I think that the, the attempt to, like, to isolate themselves and make it this massive spectacle on its own is what's really backfired because, like you said, it's put too much pressure on everyone to be tuned in and excited all the way through the day and hoping that potentially the NRLW finals, the, you know, uh, like you said, the New South Wales Rugby League finals, getting you there when yeah. realistically they're not enough of a draw card, I don't think, to keep people entertained for that long. And they're not certainly not enough for people to want to get to a ground four or five hours before kickoff for those that are going as well. Yeah. I think if you're going to do it at night, it has to be Saturday night. And then if you do it for the day, I think you can either do Saturday or Sunday. But yes, I just, yeah, I don't like it. Even I think we did State of Origin potentially on a Sunday night yeah. a couple of years ago. And I don't think it worked either. I'm yet to work. Obviously, you get the public holiday, you get the day off the next day in New South Wales and sort of around the grounds. But still, I just think it's a long wait and a long build up. By the time you get there, you're like, oh. I'm ready for bed now, yeah. which is not ideal. So I think yeah. you can make it a massive weekend. Like I'd love to see it on a Saturday at night and then you've got the Sunday, Monday long weekend to really enjoy it and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm definitely in your court for sure. I think as well, just like, if you're going to do Sunday, it has to be afternoon. It can't be evening. Mm. Like yeah. I don't mind, yeah. I don't mind like the 3 p.m. kickoff where you know, people over and you, your lunch times and then you can settle in and watch it. Uh, and then afterwards, you know, you're on a high if you've, if you've won or whatever it is, but you've got the evening to enjoy and drink away your sorrows if you're on the other end. But yeah, it just feels like the, the night comes to a crashing hold at full time and it everyone does. seems a little it bit deflated. It's like you have a barbecue and then you just be able to tuck back into leftovers and the game's back on. So yeah. it's, it's <laughs> yeah. awkward. I think it's just, that's the best way to describe it. It's just such an awkward time. Like no one, like you can have like a, a Sunday sesh and go out in the beers and that, but that's always through the day. Like, uh, Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.